Uh, welcome, guys, to the first session of uh, your photography elements class. Um, not the way I wanted to be introducing myself, but um, unfortunately, there's no other way right now. Um, just going to run through uh, a bit about what we're going to do this lesson uh, and kind of show you where everything is. Uh, most of the course I have built into a uh, Weebly website. Uh, the link will be on the Google Classroom. Uh, and everything can be found under the tab if you just go to the Elements tab, all right? Um, through here, pretty much every sort of lesson throughout the course uh, is somewhere here. Uh, so this gives you an idea of the sort of things that we'll be working on, okay? Uh, today, we're going to start with the power of photography and I'll just talk a bit more about in terms of what we're going to do today. Um, obviously, photography is a very practical course. Um, we want you out and about with your camera. Uh, obviously, that poses unique uh, sort of challenges and problems at the moment. Um, so we will, you know, hopefully cross and deal with that uh, as we go. But certainly, um, if we were doing this in school, we would spend the first sort of four or five weeks in the classroom anyway. So most of this can be done from home. Um, to start with, what I want to do is just get an idea of of what kind of photographers you are and what your expectation is of this course. I design this course and it changes pretty much every semester. I want you to have control of what you want to learn um, and then therefore you can kind of decide what topics interest you, what don't interest you, where you want to go on a trip, where you don't want to go on a trip, although those sort of things um, pose uh, unique problems right now as well. But we'll again cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, to start with, you will see under this link, um, and again, so if you can't find this, you go to Elements, through the eye of the lens, power photography. The top part is a Google form that's been embedded into here. Okay, there are first some few questions that uh, talk about, you know, what kind of experience do you have? What is your expectation of the course? Um, how do you rank yourself as a photographer right now? Are you just a novice getting started or are you an expert? I will set up in uh, an assignment in the classroom um, over the next week what I want you to do is actually upload an image of your camera okay you will need to have a camera and you will need to have a camera that you are able to adjust a lot of the settings on manually particularly ISO shutter speed and aperture now, if you upload a photograph and you upload the name of your camera, I will be able to check whether it's got all those functions and whether we are good to use that one for this course. OK, uh, but that's something I will set up separately. Underneath here, there is also a sort of a ranking in terms of it's not just about photography, what we want you to develop on in this course. As you know, with all elements courses, it's about developing your core competencies. Um, here we particularly look at sort of we got three or four uh, actually even five that we're going to touch on in this elements course first one looking at sort of terms of you know your character you know uh, and I want you to basically rate where you think you sit um, so for example the first one you can work through challenges and setbacks okay so where do you think you submit on here proficient is obviously yep you're outstanding at this uh and you show limited evidence mm, you know you you really this is something you're really not kind of that good at okay so please go through and complete this google form um it shouldn't take you too long if you want some more information about what some of these sections mean there is a separate link um, and it's called Under Skills. I've put this in the first post as well. Um, if you have a look at through this, this goes into what each of the core competencies are in more detail. Okay, um, I'll leave this screencast as that, but I will uh, carry on with what you need to do for the rest of the lesson in separate screencasts.